Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Toy Review Divisoria Series This is actually the second part of the Divisoria Series and for this uh, time, we will be reviewing the Pogo What's that Moira? A Moirasaurus? I don't even think that is an existing dinosaur but we'll see, I'll google that later Well, moving on, we are actually reviewing this uh, Pogo 6016 Number 2, 3, and 8, Velociraptor series. So we have uh, three designs to it. We have an orange one, a blue one, and a green one. So the box actually is the same box as what we have reviewed uh, from the past. And uh, uh, it actually is a good print to it. And um, yeah, so let's start uh, opening them one by one. So uh, all three of them. Uh, first, let's start with the green one. So this is number uh, 2. Okay, so we have here the green uh, Velociraptor, which is very similar to the Raptor that we've seen uh, before from what LEGO released, right? If you can remember that one, uh, the one from the um, kids series. So I think this is very similar to that one. So uh, reviewing the paint uh, on this one, you can see that the paint app is quite okay, better than the uh, one that we reviewed before. Uh, the paint on the uh, head is quite nice and uh, however the eyes are somehow different i don't know i really can point out which is different in in this sense i think uh, the size uh, of the eyes but do let me know if you guys can uh, actually point out what uh, particular difference is it so let's just uh, do a quick assembly so um let's put on the lower jaw and then uh, let's put this part of it yeah as usual, there's a, uh, a bit of um, uh, strain when actually putting in uh, this uh, part, so, uh, but anyways, it still works nonetheless. Okay, so let's put on the legs. So, you also need to put on a little bit of uh, push here to be able to fit it uh, on its side. So I just noticed right now that uh, it hasn't had any um, sickle claw to it. So, but that's okay. Uh, I actually bought it with uh, with the uh, idea that it will not have the sickle claw. So uh, I'm okay with it. Uh, it is actually very useful when actually making other uh, customs because uh, there aren't any or there aren't a lot of uh, raptors. Uh, out there with this particular size most of it are smaller so i'm good with this particular um feet without the sickle claws all right so here it is the first one this is 6016 number two okay so let's move on with the rest of the um wrappers so uh but first you can see here that uh, it has this um sticky lock hand so i will be using that a lot of times for my other um, customs it also has this replaceable um, tail to it so I'm glad that it does so I, it will give me a lot of options when doing my other customs okay so that's it for the green raptor let's now move on to the next one this is 6016 number 3 the blue raptor okay so let's just open it I think a blue raptor would actually do good it does have that a uh, really um, uh, boyish color to it <laughs> if you want to, to add that one it has red stripes and also uh, an orange yellow eyes to it it's not very vibrant though I, I would like to have this painted like that very similar to how it was actually presented in the uh, box uh, but that's okay uh, as I've said earlier I will be using this stuff for my other custom so if you do have any suggestions on what other dinosaurs or uh, other prehistoric creatures you would like to see me using this particular um, base figures then you may do so and comment below okay so moving on with the review uh, it actually has a very simple uh, Thing to it i mean the, there are a lot of um uh, special paint on paint up on the head it's just the eyes i think and that actually made it very good looking because the simpler it is the better so the feet aren't painted and uh that's such a loss but it's okay uh the hands the claws are also not painted and uh, the only 
pink here would be the red uh, markings on the body and uh, also the tail. Okay, so let's put on the arms and the legs. Also, this one will not have the sickle claws, and uh, I've said earlier, it's okay. And uh, so, this is it for the blue raptor. So, it actually looks good in, in my opinion. At least you can play with this, it's playable, and it also has this removable tail to it, although you cannot really twist it around. Uh, the thing is, it can be um, reattached. So, that is assembly points for you. Okay, so this is the last one of the uh, set of the raptors that we have. So this is the um, brownish orange uh, raptor that we uh, just opened. And um, it's very similar to the colors of what we have on the boxes. Uh, unlike the Stigimolok um, set that we did last time. So I'm pretty much happier in terms of um, scoring this one because it actually stayed true with how it looks like on the uh, boxes although uh, some of the features are uh, featured like uh, different colored nails and also the teeth uh, should be painted as well so if you're interested to buy this one then you can actually paint it yourself if you want the only caveat for me would be actually putting in the <laughs> Um, the arms and the legs for this one it has some of those um, you know protruding plastic to it so better take them off or or uh, run the risk of you cutting yourself with this sharp pieces so um, you can actually do that for yourself so that is it for the set of the velociraptors and uh, rating it uh, definitely it will have a higher rate than that of the stiggy moloch um, figure so i'm thinking of giving this particular uh, set a 7 out of 10 so that's a big jump from the 5 over 10 uh, rating that i gave the stiggy moloch so uh, overall this is a good figure it does have some caveats to it but uh, it's okay. You can do with with uh, with some of those losses if you are not that picky. Oh, and may I remind you, it has this detachable tail. So <laughs> it's really cute, although you really cannot twist it while it is inside. But this uh, particular piece can actually be used as uh, you know a neck or or some other parts. So anyway, so that's it for the toy review that we have now for 6016. Thank you again for watching. Also, our babies Moria and Asher has their own blog now, The Adventures of Moria and Asher. Please watch their videos and support their channel as well by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!